Right, so hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex and Mr. Marsbar here, and welcome to my second ever episode of Help from Mars. This is a series where I like to read through my messages and see if there's any messages that are, you know, common to common to a lot of people and that would help a lot of people out, and therefore answer them in a video. So here goes. First of all, I'd just like to talk about the video for a second. In the background, you're watching a I think we're playing some six man domination. Uh, how did that not kill him? But yeah, we're playing some six man domination. I think I went sixteen five um, using the shotgun. Uh, on this map, I forgot the map's called Studio or something like that, but uh, yeah, just enjoy the gameplay guys, so here's the message. Hey Mars Bar, I've been contemplating whether I should start a gaming channel. I just wanted to know what I would need to get started and if you had any tips. I know you probably get this message all the time, but a response will be awesome. So there you go guys, there's the message. Now it's fairly simplistic, but the reason I want to talk about this in the series is because I get this message over and over again, so I reckon it'd be quite a good video, make quite a good video to talk about this. Um, and if I get the message again, then I can just link to this video. I've obviously got a, uh, a 10 minute time zone to be able to talk about this. And I'll be able to, you know, probably get a message over a little bit easier, you know, talking about it instead of typing behind the keyboard. So here goes. Here's my first tip. So guys, as you know, if you want to get into this, this is a hobby. Like fishing or golfing or any sport that you play, it's a hobby. And I'm going to first get this off the ground, guys. And I'm going to say that this is an expensive hobby. You need lots of equipment to be able to make the good quality videos that's going to get you far in this. And you need to have time and dedication, so money, let's just go over this. You need a decent computer, you need a decent graphics card, you need a decent processor, you need decent internet, you need, you know, if you're gaming on a PC, that's all you really need. You need a decent console if you're a console gamer, you need a decent capture card, and capture cards are bloody expensive if you want to get a nice HD one like this. Um, I'll probably crop the quality right now so you can see it. Um... Then on top of that, you need to get a good microphone, and not everyone has these at their disposal. It's a lot of money to be able to put, you know, put towards, um, put towards a ho just a hobby. That probably, you know, it's that hard to get into it nowadays. That there's that many, that many people trying to trying to make videos on YouTube. It's really hard. Um, you have you have to stand out from the crowd if you get what I'm saying here. Uh, so let me just go over my equipment. I have a Blue Snowball microphone, which when I bought it was about sixty pounds. Uh, I have an Xbox 360, which was, you guys know how much Xboxes are. I have an Elgato Game Capture HD, which is my capture card. That cost me £120. Um, my computer is, well, I built that myself um, over numerous years. Uh, my graphics card is about four years old, but um, my graphics card was about 400 quid when I bought it. Uh, I saved up for quite a while to buy, to buy that bad boy, and I haven't seen the need to replace it after these four years. It's uh, still kicking on absolutely fine. Um, I'm running a second gen Core i7 processor clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. And uh, I've got a dual monitor display sat right in front of me so I can play Xbox and multitask uh, on my computer at the same time. So that's my first tip guys. You need to start off with the good equipment. Don't start off with a dazzle and then, you know, think when you're going to get, when, when you get a few more subscribers then go HD. Because you're not going to get anywhere with a dazzle. If, if someone, you know, if someone has better quality than you, no one's going to... No one's going to come and watch someone with worse quality. They'll just go and watch someone else. If someone's got a terrible microphone quality, someone will just go and watch someone else. If someone's got, you know, if you've got bad bad visual quality video that's actually on the screen, you know, not in, not in good, you know, 10 bit 720p, people are just going to go and watch someone else. So I just think they just, you just they just won't watch it because, you know, th these things these things are necessary. These things are the things that you need to get this hobby going. It's like playing golf with that golf club. My second tip to you guys would be to prioritise this now. This is a big hobby. If you're going to do this as your hobby, you don't want to have any other, any any you know any other hobby running in the background. This is a very very time consuming hobby. It takes time to upload videos. It takes time to render videos. It takes time to put you know video ideas together. It takes time to get gameplay. It takes time to make a decent video. If I make a video and I don't think it's good enough to upload, and um, bear in mind I probably spent you know half a day trying to put it together. I render it out and I think no, I don't I don't want to put this out. I don't think my viewers will like it. Then I won't put it out. You know, I, I don't. I, I want to upload something that I know you guys would enjoy and I know you guys would benefit from. So hopefully, you guys are benefiting from this. The guys that you know have their question. So that's my first two tips out of the way, and uh, I think those two those two tips right there, the uh, money and time, uh, are the are the most crucial tips in being successful in YouTube and trying to you know gain subscribers or whatever you want to get out of it. Um, so time, which leads me on to my uh, my third my third point, quite reasonably, which is dedication. Time equals dedication. If you have time, put time into your videos, that means you're dedicated. Also, dedication comes under whether you are energetic in your videos, whether you, you know, look look as if you're actually enjoying making videos. You can't start making a video and be like, Hey guys, it's epic silences here. 
and today, you know, I'm bringing you, uh, I'm bringing you uh, uh, a commentary on uh, Stadium. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got uh, the oh, I forgot what gun it's called. Um, uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoy the gameplay, guys. Uh, I'll come back at the end of the gameplay and uh, talk about some random stuff that you guys aren't really bothered about. You can't be like that, guys. You have to be. You know, energetic in your videos. You have to be upbeat. You have to. You have to be entertaining to an audience. You can't just be all mellow and all boring. People don't want to watch that rubbish. People want to be like, you know, if I take my Minecraft series, um, at the start of every Minecraft series, I, I go up and I kill something, or I go up and hit something, and I'm like, sorry a minute, hang on, how's it going? And I'm just really energetic in my videos, and it's just like, ah, why aren't people energetic? They they're wondering why they're not going to get anywhere on YouTube because they're just boring and not even trying in their videos. It's as if they're not even trying and they're not bothered. Is one of the most, you know, it's it's the, it's the best the best advice someone can give you. If you're not energetic in your videos, you won't entertain an audience. Therefore, normal normal come back and watch your videos. They're not going to think, you know, oh, you know, Mars, this kid's funny. He's he's energetic in his videos. He actually tries. I can't wait to watch this video he's just uploaded. Oh, when's, you know, when's bloody bra uploaded the next video? He's so funny. People aren't going to be like, people aren't going to, you know, be thinking to themselves, oh my god, when's, uh, when's bloody Silencer uploading his next video? He's so boring. He's not even funny. I can't wait to watch his next video. People don't think like that. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be like, energetic and everything. So that's, that's my fourth tip. The fifth tip is going to be, you know, these are these are kind of overflow tips, guys. These are the things that you don't really need. They're not really necessary, but they, you know, they will help you along the way. So this tip is, well, it it will it will kind of benefit or like reach out to quite a lot of you. Um, it's quite a hard thing to say, guys, but I wouldn't start commentating. I mean, I mean, I did it quite well, but I wouldn't start commentating if you're 14 or under. People aren't going to want to watch someone that's, you know, 14 or under. I wouldn't want to watch someone that's younger than me commentating a video. I want to watch someone that's older than me because then I can get experience from them and then I can look up to them. Like, I'm not going to look up to a 13-year-old, am I? Or a 14-year-old or a 15-year-old when I'm almost 16. You know, so if, if you're like 13 or 14 and uh, you're thinking of making a video, maybe 14 is okay. If you're 13 and you're thinking of making a video, or 13 or under and you're thinking of starting to make YouTube videos, don't, because you'll just end up getting hate, because people will be like, oh, you know, you're young, you're a squeaker or whatever, and then it'll make you feel down, because the internet is a massive troll, everyone trolls each other, everyone hates on each other, you get haters, it's life, it's just like people die, you get hate on internet, doesn't matter, just push it out of the way. But, if you are 13 or under, you're guaranteed to get hate because people will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're a squeaker. Even though your videos are probably, you know, you've got a bloody amazing HD capture card and you've got a bloody studio quality microphone. If you're 13 or you, you, you're you a young YouTuber, um, you're probably not going to get anywhere. I mean, don't get me wrong. I started when I was 14, when I was just turned 14, actually. I was, I was 13, I'd just turned 14. And uh, I started, if you go back to my first video and uh, look at it, it's got like five or eight, eight dislikes or something like that. Mainly because I'm just so young and people can't be asked to watch that rubbish. Um, so make sure, you know, you may as well save up for the good equipment. That was ridiculous. Save up for the good equipment and um, and then start, you know, when, you, when you're when 15 or, or, you know, whatever. And uh, make your videos enjoyable. You know, once you've rendered your video, watch it over and just think to yourself, you know, this is what I do. I look at my videos and I think to myself, you know, if I was watching this, would I enjoy it? Would I want to watch this? Would I want to watch something like this? And if that ticks the yes box, then go ahead and upload it. If that ticks the no box, and even the slightest bit of the no box, then delete the video, start again. Do something different. Do what you're doing differently. Do it how you think you would enjoy watching a video. That's what I try to do, guys. And that seems to work for me absolutely fine. Um, I'm kind of, you know... I love the feedback that I get off you guys on my face. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's coming to an end now. Uh, I hope you actually gained something out of the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any, you know, other tips you could give to anyone else, stick them down in the comment section down below. And I'm sure, um, you know, I'm sure people will read them. Start some fun discussion in the comment section down down below, guys. Make sure to rate the video up if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name's been Marsbar. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.